Hey guys, Nova Joe back again, and today I thought I would do a quick little video going over what are the new options uh, that come with EDF6. Uh, they have added a couple new options to uh, to the game, different from the prior titles, and I just thought it would be interesting to go over them and kind of tell you guys what you're in for when the English version releases. Now, uh, starting at the top here, uh, nothing different from prior titles here. This one is Master Volume. The next one is sound effects. Next one's background volume, then voice volume. And then this one is speakers that play wireless audio and it has a few different options. It has uh, front left and right. It has surround left and right. And it's got just, uh, it's got three different options here. I don't know exactly what all that entails, but I guess it just basically is kind of like uh, stereo and then surround sound so you can adjust that based on whatever your setup is uh, this one is screen vibration this one is turning speed so basically how fast your character can turn this one is turning interpolation value <laughs> that's what it translated out to using a Google Lens so turning interpolation value I think that means how quickly it gets up to speed when you're turning like you know how when you start to turn it turns slow uh, which is like your turning speed and then if you hold it in for a moment it starts going faster I, I think that's what it means but I could be wrong on that one and then the next one is uh, your your up and down view so it, uh, this determines whether you want it to be inverted or not uh, this one is your left and right view so this one is, I mean, if, if people want right to be left and left to be right, more power to you, but I, I don't know why. Uh, and honestly, there are some games that I have played that are like that, and I just don't get it. Um, I tried to play Star Wars Bounty Hunter, an old PlayStation 2 game, and it was like that. It was right as left and left as right, and man, it, was just, it just about ruined the game for me. Uh, this next one is Vibration Function. Uh, this one is camera direction. Uh, this is basically like when you're playing and something pops up on the screen that they want you to see. Uh, you can turn that off if you don't like it or it basically takes the view away from you and drags your camera angle over to whatever is coming up on the screen. You can turn that off. And this one is your camera type. There are now one, two, three, four different camera types. One, uh, camera type one is just like EDF 4.1, EDF 5. Uh, camera type 2 is actually the default for EDF 6 and it kinda has you standing off to the left a little bit and 3 and 4 are more zoomed in uh, views where you're still standing off to the left but it just zooms in quite a bit. Uh, honestly I like default view 2 for single player. It works really well with some of the weaponry especially like when you're throwing out turrets or if you're going to be uh, trying to line up something that has a sight to it, uh, Viewpoint 2 seems to work really well for single player. But when you're playing split screen, I go right back to Viewpoint 1 because if you don't, when you play split screen, it kind of cuts your character off a little bit. So Viewpoint 1 makes it just like it used to be when you played split screen. Now, going, to the, going down to the next section, is this is the one that a lot of people are uh, either happy about or aren't happy about and that is the damage values so this is the damage value display type and the default makes the damage values pop up above the weapon icon at the bottom of the screen but you can actually turn it off or make it show up on the enemy and there's a, I think there's one two three for this is this one's off and I can't remember what this one was but basically one of them shows the damage on the enemy one of them shows the damage above the weapon icon another one takes the damage and puts it on another part of the screen and so you got like three different places that you can put the damage indicator um, or the damage numbers the damage values or you can just flat out turn it off if you don't like seeing those. I will be honest with you, I have had a, uh, a change of heart regarding the damage numbers. I did not like seeing them at first. I thought it was kind of stupid. 
I was like, why do I need to see the damage numbers? But when you're gauging, but now, if you're firing at an enemy at a distance and they're kind of like behind shrubbery and stuff, sometimes you can't tell if you're hitting them, but the damage numbers will pop up and let you know that you're hitting your target. So uh, that works really well. It also works great with airstrikes. It's like if you're calling an airstrike and it's kind of far off and you can't quite tell if you're hitting your target, well, you'll see damage numbers pop up on the screen. Uh, this way, like in the past, you would always kind of look to see if your uh, airstrike bar was filling up from kills. Well, sometimes you don't kill them. Sometimes you just damage them, and you want to know that you've damaged them, and you'll actually see the damage numbers now with that. Uh, plus, sometimes it's just fun to see how much damage a weapon is unloading into an enemy, especially when it's a little more difficult to gauge what the damage is when you got different weapon types that kind of separate the damage out into uh, different little sections like a shotgun uh, each pellet does 340 points of damage there's 20 pellets and you're wanting to see like how many of your pellets hit at this range so you can kind of go back and forth with that and kind of play around and see what you think uh, but you can actually turn it off if you want to and last but not least is subtitles you can turn the subtitles on and off now uh, right here this will let you uh, if memory serves me correctly on this one, this will let you actually uh, reset everything back to default settings. And then this one is where you change the control configuration for each character class. So you've got the Ranger, uh, the Air Raider, whoop, excuse me, Wing Diver, I think this one is, and then Fencer. And then this one, I think this is where you set up messages, I think. <laughs> uh, I actually, I translated all the, the top ones there so I could tell what they were. But the bottom ones, I kind of left alone. I wasn't that interested in uh, other than being able to change my character classes. So, um, oh, I told you wrong. This one, this one is Ranger. This one is wing diver this one is air raider and this one's fencer so you actually can go in and change the control types for all four of them and it said this one resets you to default this one i think just gets you back out of it to where you can look at different little tidbits and tips and things like that uh but other than that guys that is the setup for this is the option setup for earth defense Four six uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. Please comment down below. And if you're new to the channel and like what you've seen, please uh, feel free to subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of the channel. And I do appreciate uh, you guys chiming in and telling me what you think about stuff. I appreciate uh, your support. And I appreciate you guys sticking with me for all these years. Six years. And I know I don't put out a ton of videos. And I know that I'm not as lively as a lot of other people. I'm just kind of your, I'm your average Joe, your Nova Joe. <laughs> so I know I don't get as many people to hang around to subscribe. Uh, but I love having those of you around who do. And so uh, please feel free to keep chiming in and tell me what you think. And as always, guys, take care. God bless and keep on gaming.